Hey there, welcome to Triangular version four. Before we get started, there's a couple things that you need to do to really benefit from this series. Number one, you're gonna wanna do getting started with TypeScript on our website. It's also available on YouTube, just so you know. Uh, so Kerr.co, W-O-B-C-P-K. Um, that is where you're gonna go through and learn a little bit about TypeScript because as you may know, Angular ha uses TypeScript which turns into JavaScript at some point. So now um, the next thing that you do after that is do the Angular 4 setup guide. This right here is actually going to show you how to set up Angular CLI on your local computer. So I want you to do those two things. If you haven't done them, stop now and go check them out. Um, if you are already somewhat familiar with Angular 2, then you can I'll assume that you already have Angular CLI installed and you can go ahead and jump in right here. So we're working with Angular, Angular version four. That's what we're doing. We are building an app using Angular version four. We're gonna be covering a lot of different things in here, um, but it's still just an introduction to this. So if there's something you wanna see, please let us know in the comments below. Um, so without further ado, let's actually get started. You can follow along with the docs here. Um, you can also follow along on this, this setup guide because when you actually start a new project, um, you, you, this is where you can actually go as a reference. So what we're doing now is I'm gonna go in and be in my dev folder, so where I keep my development projects, and I'm gonna make a new directory called ng serve up, and I'm gonna change into ng serve up. Oops, uh, that meant to CD into ng serve up. Okay, so in here, this is where I'm gonna create my new app. So ng new, and I'll just call it serve up. I press enter, and this is gonna create a, a bunch of stuff for me inside of my project, right? So this is actually creating my serve up app for Angular JS. I'm gonna let it run for a second. While it's running, I will just mention this. My Node.js version is this, my NPM version is this, and my Angular version, or let's say NGV, is that, right? So this is Angular CLI. That's the version that I'm working off of. Angular CLI, most of the time, I believe, uses the latest version of Angular itself. So let's go ahead and check back. Our project was created. I'm gonna close out this other terminal window. And I'm actually gonna open up the finder to where I am. So open period, this actually opens up the finder window. And I see that I have inside of ng serve up, I have something called serve up. I'm actually gonna change that to being client. Uh, the reason I call it client is because then it's more like if we added a backend system, we would put that one in a backend folder or something like that. So that's why I put client. And you probably know this already, but Angular is a client side framework. So that means it, it handles everything on the user's side. That's essentially what it's doing. And it's really, really powerful for that. But a lot of times you'll need a backend system to actually work with Angular. Something like Django or Node.js. Um, those are the things that you might end up using in the backend. Now, in this one, we're not going to be connecting the backend. Instead, we're going to be doing other things that are somewhat related to the backend um, and, and emulating having a backend. But for us, we're really just gonna be focusing in on Angular itself. So what I wanna do now is also add this into my text editor. I'm using Sublime Text and I'm using Sublime Text version three. So that's where that's coming from. Um, Sublime Text is not a requirement for this. You can use any text editor. Um, so if you also are using t Sublime Text, I also have the TypeScript package installed, which you can just install packages with package control. TypeScript package just allows me to have some syntax editing as I go. But the nice thing about Angular command line interface or um, the NGV, so this stuff is actually gonna give me error uh, messages as well. So that's another aspect of things just, just to keep in mind as we're building this. So back into Sublime Text, I'm just gonna add this project to, um, or add make, create a, a Sublime Text project for my Angular project by going into ng serve up. 
and grabbing, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the client itself. So the client folder, that's all I have. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this project as, and again, we're gonna go into dev, ng serve up client, and I'll just call it ng serve up dot sublime project. Okay, so now that I've got this, let's go ahead and just really quickly in our project, I wanna change into client. I'm gonna go ng serve and press enter. Um, what this is doing is emulating a server. So it's emulating this running on a live server of some kind. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that URL there, which is just localhost with the 4200 port. And I just go on there and there we go. So our app is working now. Um, got everything started, that's really good. So in the next one, we'll actually start working in this. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.